Hey, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. So, Cambibo. Like, I like to hunt them a lot. They're actually an amazing little creature to hunt. Uh, we're not very far up the codex on them. Mostly because uh, I did most of my hunting of them before there was a codex on them. And so, we'll be checking this out. So, we're going to be hunting the Cambibo today. Including, we're going to be killing the Brood Queen. Or, uh, Brood Mother, I'm sorry. But, uh, should be pretty fun. Gonna make sure we're all good on everything, repaired and everything, before we even start going. Um, looks like we are. Okay. Make sure we have weapons. Yeah. Okay, so we're vastly good to go. I feel that's not a bad sign, right? So, looks like we're good to go over here on our stream, too. If you don't know where I am currently, I'm at uh, the Athena Spaceport. In all honesty, if you're ever trying to get into space, this is like as close as you can get. You literally take off and boom, you're in space. Where we're going to the Brood Queen, though, or Brood Mother, is a totally different place. So let, let's cross our fingers, hope for some globals. So, of course, we're on Planet Calypso, huge place, right? Now, to get to where the Brood Queen is, you go to this Nymph Town teleporter. going to be much closer than any of the other places, obviously. I don't know if you guys noticed. It's not highly conveniently located. Okay, let's see what we can do here, guys. Now, Nymph Town actually does have some stuff going on here. Um, I haven't really fully explored it, to be honest. Now, we have several ways we could get over there, but we're just going to skateboard over there. Now... I'm not sure you might be able to swim. I'm going to system this so we don't see people's conversations. <clears throat> oh no, there's definitely something in the water. I was semi tempted to jump off my skateboard and see what was in the water. Oh, they're red snappers. Now that's a good mob to hunt right there. I don't probably have a ton of codex on them either. Okay, so we're on Chateau Liberty. Oh, they have shops here now? Oh, no. Okay, because I said that we were here hunting, I'm not even going to get distracted with any shops. I'm going to focus ahead on what we're doing. So this is adjusted pixie armor with serpent plating, in case you guys need to know. To start, we're going to start off with this weapon. If this starts getting annoying, and you can put... Ooh, that guy made me mad right off the bat. Oh yeah, that's not going to be enough firepower. We're going to switch guns. Don't worry. Okay. So that's why I like these guys. Do you guys see that hairspray? We're going to get a bunch of that. So we're going to detach all the attachments. I'm going to put one laser sight on there. 
Okay. Let's do some shreddy shreddy, right? Okay, boom. So I just switched to a level 30 LR30. Well, it's a LR30, you know what I mean? But basically it's a level 30 training rifle. And so, bang, ready to slaughter. This is gonna hit them a little harder. Not tons actually though. You know, I'm not really impressed as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, we're heading at the brood mother. Oh, right there. Level 18 brood mother, right? Pretty sure I can take her anyway. These guys were hunting just because they're in the way. And the brood mother, she'll respawn and stuff, you know what I mean? It'll just be a little bit before she does respawn when we kill her. I'll probably want to move this so I can see my life, though. I don't think I'm going to do anything with anything right there. She's going to come down, want to beat us up. I need to give myself a new regeneration chip. What am I doing? Oh, you know what? I'm going to get this out of the way. That that literally... So she can't punch through. It doesn't look like very well on the... Uh, adjusted pixie with some serpent plate. I mean, she's hitting through a little bit. You can see there. Jesus, just take a second. So a lot of people like putting this girl down. Sometimes she HOFs, sometimes she globals, sometimes you cry, you know. See, not a global, but that is a good amount of shrapnel. I mean, I don't know how much I just blasted through right there because. So she won't spawn back for a second. Like, where is this one? So I, I really do think these things kick butt. And I'm not sure which all creatures drop as many hair products as Cambibo. And so... It's kind of interesting, huh?
You know what? Let's try to drop a lightning probe too. Okay, so let's look at what I'm going to use just so you guys know. It's stacked. It's going to drop deep. I'm going to kill that creature first. So that's what we're throwing down with. You can get these in my little shop up on Crystal Palace. Okay. So there's Forest Nexus on this island, guys. I feel I should get an energy drink, too. Okay, I'm gonna grab an energy drink real quick. I mean, this thing's gonna be done in one second anyway, but energy drink's a good idea. Well, it might not be a good idea. I don't know if that's a, a true statement at all. But it's gonna give me some energy, in theory. Boom. I'm on my way back already. Okay. This thing has some f kind of like flavor that doesn't sound like a drink. I mean, like I'm sure it sounds like a drink to somebody, so. But it's gonna be delicious, I'm sure too. Uh, see, this is what happens when you switch out guns real quick, and you forget to to actually switch gun sets. Just moving that trash can temporarily. I'll use it very specifically. Okay, sorry about that. So I don't like hunting in this wood area. Because it actually is not seeming very effective, you know what I mean? Way too much time between kills. Oh, that thing's really good, though. I mean, like... I don't know what the heck to tell you it tastes like, though. Like sugar and some stuff. So the deal is, I don't know how long it takes for uh, that guy to, the brood mother, to uh, actually recharge again. We'll head up back up that hill again in one second. Because at the end of the day, that that is who we want to kill the most. Well, this is thick area. Okay. Gonna head back up to the top of the hill and hope it affects some. I really do kind of want to check out these estates, and I, I hate to say it, but I'm always fascinated at shops and estates. I'm gonna have to get myself a uh, handkerchief if I drink these things.
Or a straw, I guess I could just shove a straw in there. That's what we'll be doing. Boom! Just like that, we got a Cambobo Rake. <sighs> Crap. So mixed bag on what to take here. We're gonna go laser technology though for a second. So that's such an inexpensive skill, I shouldn't have took that. I don't know, I always struggle. Okay, making it back up here. I don't see the brood mother yet. Just check it. My hair was tickling my ear inside this thing. Freaking drove me crazy. Holy crap. The random stuff that happens when you're just trying to play a video game. And it didn't stop, by the way. Oh my. Okay, up here's the area where she pops usually. So obviously she's not here right now, but... We will just keep killing everything over here. Oh, there's a... another brood mother right here. Seriously, I was wondering if there was literally a hair right in there or something tickling the crap out of my ear, but it stopped right there. So this is who we're after. Oh, see, I feel that I I would have. Oh uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll work our way down to that brood mother. This legit though, if you don't know, is the easiest place to hunt them. And to get here, you really just go to Nymph Town. I'm gonna kill this provider and then we'll go back at that uh, brood mother and try to take, well, we'll take her out, not even a try. So this is the other location she pops down here, or up top. Oh, she has a big aggro. Did you see that? She's all pissed off. Ha ha ha. Okay. Also remind me, we need to actually um, get a new hilly thing. I didn't realize I had burnt that whole dang thing out.
Ooh, she hits hard. I'm gonna win, but man. I'm only winning because I'm more consistent with landing hits. She's knocking the crap out of me. Oh, that's not good. It's okay. We're going to keep killing until we do good. I mean, that's... We're just going to keep killing. I mean, not indefinitely, but, you know. We're going to kill a lot. Okay, so now we're waiting for another broodmother. So that took 30 minutes maybe for a second broodmother to, to pop on this, this island, right? That's pretty fast. Excuse me. So, I'm not a cosmetic person, but what I think I'm going to do is while I'm doing these guys, I'm going to stack all this hairspray and stuff up. I think they give hair gel too, but I'm not really a million percent sure. And I'm going to put it in my booth on uh, Crystal Palace. I'll have to look at what it actually goes for. I don't actually know that stuff. But I feel it should go for some. I want to take a drink of this, but I want to not. There. <laughs> I coordinated that much better. Much, much better. Oh, this is a thicker area. This is where we should be hunting these guys between brood queens or brood mothers. That's tough. I'm going to have to get a straw for those things. They're really yummy, though. That, but that, that doesn't taste like a... Oh, well, I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes sugary and stuffy. And I don't even know if there's sugar in them, to be honest. I'm sure there's some kind of thing in there because that, that thing's sweet. pretty good oh boom right there she just spawned on us that's a little dirty so she spawns fast I don't know how often that is that was fast though we legit just killed her less than what 30 40 of these guys later not even 30 or 40 I'm making that up I don't know how many guys I have no idea We'll try to pay better attention. I'm not going to count. I'll write down the time, though. Let's let's get this down. We'll know how long it takes to, for brood mothers to uh, spawn. That'll. I don't know why that'll be mad. It some. Okay, so it is now. 
127 where I'm at. Okay, off killing. We're going to keep checking all locations of broodmothers until we find one again. And then we'll know that it's that long between them. I'm going to have to heal myself up, guys. And later I do need to get a new regen chip. I didn't realize I had burnt through my, my uh, actual regen chip. So she spawns up here at the top sometimes. That's the first place we killed her. So that was probably that one, to be honest. That's close enough to this top. Yeah. Then what was the second place we killed her down in there? Or was it over there? No, it was over here. Okay, so we'll just go down. We'll kill a bunch of things until we find her again. These guys loot well, though. For little dudes. I mean, I don't think... Let's check these. So for markup, I think the only thing that's going to have markup is going to be these. Oh, they don't have that impressive a markup, you guys. That's sad, because I think they should. But how many people, I mean, go through hairspray in this game, right? I honestly don't even know how to use it necessarily, so... We're going to have to go make that guy uh, hittable. So he has to hit us. And maybe he'll hit us in a second. I think... It... Come on, guy. Make a successful strike on me. This is where my defense, which is not very high, is working against me. Boom. Oh, I forgot to mention what we did with the hat. So the cowboy hat I did. I threw it in my booth on Crystal Palace. It's for sale. It's very cool looking. If you don't know what I'm talking about. It was neat. Disappointed to see that hairspray isn't worth a bunch. I think everybody is when they're like, Oh, no, I'm going to probably be able to do good off the markup on that. And then your markup is not really there. Okay, we're going to run up to the top, see if the brood queen's back, or the brood mother. Looks like these things have to respawn up here, though.
I'm making my chair comfortable. Okay, I'm going to work my way back over here and then back around again. I don't see it. Although I'm trying to find that thing. Oh, that's hilarious. Did you guys see that shadow on the ground? That's, that's like literally doesn't make any sense. I mean like, I'm trying to find the one up there. There's one. Okay, whoa, no, 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 ah! Oh, I am so surprised we took that. Ouch. Okay, guys. Ah, uh, fish is after us. I think I'm faster at swimming than that fish, though, slightly. But probably not from the intercept of that fish. Which should have an easy trajectory of intercepting me. Yeah. Ow, little fish, little fish. You don't want to bite me, bro. Ha ha. You guys are stuff. I didn't mean to walk off of a cliff. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Okay, back to shooting stuff.
be honest, for some reason my hat is not really comfortable either today. My hair is probably a mess, so let's not be judgy and stuff, okay? We'll fix that tomorrow or something. Um, Definitely probably have hat hair. I was kind of trying to look over and make sure it wasn't catastrophically bad. Just to be honest. But who knows. I'm sure you guys all look good though, so. Boom. Oh, look, they just gave us a corrosive attack chip one. That's p pretty cool. I'll take that. I actually almost want to go hunt something with it now. I kind of wonder if there'll be one up here. So it doesn't look like they've regenerated a brood queen up here yet. We'll go down this slope right here. Maybe we'll find one. Who knows? Had to hear what was going on in my house house. Boom, look at that. It's not a giant global, but it's a global and we'll take it. Really 
actually surprised that we haven't popped a, another one yet. Check up on the hill in a second again. Not sure if I think the Brood Queen will be up here yet, but let's just check. Okay, so we're going to continue to kill. She'll spawn sooner or later again. And these guys haven't been horrible. I just wish the mark upon what they were dropping was higher. Guns cutting right through these guys, though. Ah, oh, there's a brood mother. Okay, so boom. Okay, so 46. 20 minutes. Let's pretend we know. I mean, like, we don't really know, but. Hold on one second. I'm going to use my sleep really enough to go like that because I had energy drink on my beard. It's awkward. Nobody wants that. Okay, let's clean these guys off her. So about every 20 minutes, there's a brood queen or a brood mother on this island. I wasn't sure what to get there, you guys. She hits hard though, that's for sure. I'm going to tell you, they need to give us a freaking global off those. I mean, like, it's not like we deserve it more than somebody else, but I really, really would like to get one. And I know other people would, too. I want them to get one, too. Especially if they're killing their brood mother. 
It's okay, we got one global already. We're winding up for more. I feel he was stalking us. Him too. Bang. Okay. Oh, I was like, what did we just do? Because I didn't get a global. I'll take a global any day of the week. So we kind of know how long to t check. Every 20 minutes it's going to bring a brood mother. That's a theory right now. That's not a fact. You know what I mean? Okay, 27, 46 was the last one. I was just trying to figure out when we're gonna have another one. So at 206, there should be another one just hanging out somewhere. That one should give us a freaking a global is what I'm saying. Well, I can't even get to that one. I'm not even trying. Ones that are inside weird places like that, I don't like to try mess with. Because, for one, they go freaking unheadable half the time, too. Boom! 
So it's not. Look, there's another broodmother right there. So I don't know what the recharge time on them are. Um, that was pretty fast. That was... I don't know. So maybe we just had to search better. No clue. Oh, okay. I was wondering. I'm like, I'm not really. That makes more sense. Because I was like, this doesn't seem consistent. I'm just glad that they pop it. But thank you for letting me know. Because I was like, this doesn't seem consistent at all. But it's pretty often, honestly. Like, that's not horrible. Let's jack us up a little bit. That Brood Queen has not gave us love at all, though. And I'm going to tell you, I have seen some sweet globals in the little thing before. I've never got one off of her, but, you know, um, I have got some good globals off of different creatures, mostly. Um... But I've gotten globals off of this, not just... But I've seen an actual HOF off of the uh, Broodmother before that was just insane. For the fact she's not like a millionth level or some crap like that. Are there more than one Broodmother? Is it the same one? Just randomly spawning. That's always the kind of stuff I'm wondering. Well, everything I'm wondering, but... Oh, yeah. The Cambito Broodmother's on this island right here. You go here to Nymph Town. And then right here. And these are higher maturity Cambibos. It makes it way, way easier. Um, cause I think at that one spot that I used to hunt when I was first starting, I'll show you where I used to hunt. This map is so big anymore. I used to hunt somewhere up in here and, uh, oh no, somewhere right here, right here. There's Camby Bus. They're pretty good too. And that's where I hunted when I started. And then someday, um, somebody told me, hey, dude, there's higher maturity ones here. And then I was out here hunting, and I was way too low level um, to touch the brood mother. But people were out here hunting, and I was really new. And they HOF'd off of it. And they did, like, it was one of the biggest ones I had seen at that point. I was jaw dropped. I was like, oh, she's pretty good. If she gives you love, she gives you big love. She's just not wanting to give me love. That's okay. There's other mobs that have gave me sweet love. These aren't the sexiest mobs. That kind of sounded weird. But... but these guys do drop some cool stuff. I kind of wish the hairspray was worth more markup wise. That and there's um, a creature I don't really hunt up in here that's flying up in the sky. High somethings. I've just never hunted them really. Oh, right there. Look at that. That guy right there. Those guys. And see how he's so freaking up in the sky? I don't even think I can shoot him. No. He's just like... I don't even know what I would do there. Like, I guess go to the top of the hill and see if I have an arc... That's close enough to shoot at him. Let's see. I'm not really sure the options there. 
if vehicle weapons, we would shoot them with a machine gun, machine gun. But they don't work on mobs for some reason. Oh yeah, see now we got them. And I don't hunt these. I don't know anything about these guys. Like, maybe they dropped something good. I didn't Google them yet. I probably should be hunting them, though, since everything has codexes now and stuff, right? But just a few of them won't hurt. That's how it all starts. Just, just a single one won't hurt. And then, like, all of a sudden you think you're... Are there more of them above me? Uh. I do like those little pterodactyl creatures, though. The Hyru or Hyrui, I don't know what they are. That, that word. I like them. That brood mother needs to decide she wants to be nice to us on the next kill, though. Like, give us some spiral. I don't know if she's going to. Probably take a couple. I don't want to walk off a cliff again. We already did that today. We're kicking butt down this hill, though. Okay, I'm going to swing around to the other side and see if we've got a, a respawn, maybe. Especially now that we know it's just random. I wonder what the shortest respawn on a brood mother is. Probably still a few minutes. Oh, we'll kill him, too. I swear he's using... The situation against us here where we're not up in the air flying. And he's not coming down. That dude's just straight not going to come down. Uh, I don't have anything I can do about that. That's just... Like... Shoot a rocket launcher at him, maybe? I don't have a rocket launcher on me. Still up there? That's a different one. Okay, don't shoot at those unless you really think you actually have a, a angle on them. They'll just fly around, ignoring you like you're in a grounder. You know, I for some reason like those little dudes, these guys, because they have fists and stuff. But I actually think that some of them should actually have, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat gear on them. Like, because look. Wait, is it a little fist or is it like a L? A little stumpy elephant hand. No, oh, that's a fist, see? Yeah. Well, it's a fist. I, I appreciate that. But they should definitely... Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe they don't need to throw gear on top of a... It's an animal, though, so I guess it's not intelligent. It's just angry and has fists to punch at you. And carries hairspray. Okay, we're going to use this little special thing so we can get our whatever it is. Sure, we'll find another brood mother up in here in a second.
Okay. We'll curve that way that this time. There she is. Look at that. She's so big. So yeah, it's pretty often. We're not we're not waiting really if we search for her. I don't think we're waiting more than ten minutes between kill, right? Okay, come on. We want this one to be nice to us. That thing's dangerous with your mustache beard thing. It did seem pretty often that some of the, some things in some games are horrible. I played some like MMOs and stuff like that. Oh, that was a horrible one. Do you see that? They were just being mean to us there. Okay, we're we're still good. I don't know who made that go unreachable. It wasn't me. So good. It's often. We're going to keep killing them because we're going to hope that one of them doesn't want to be rude to us like that. I'm going to get this one un, unreachable. we got to let him hit us. Come on, Bob. Get us. Okay. Now he's mad. Those little fists look mean, though. Kind of fat and stumpy. He has to lay a hand on us to actually uh, count. So we have to wait till he hits us. There, boom. Oh, he dodged. What level are dodger are these guys? They're not very high level dodgers, are they? Ah, he was just getting lucky. Nice. See how thick this place is with them, though? I honestly believe that this is probably the better place for uh, codexing these guys and stuff. I probably should have Googled and seen if there was a mission I could stack with them, like a daily cambibo type hunty one i like to stack missions and i didn't do enough google research before i started hunting on this planet like on tulin we had researched everything that you could stack in every other planet but this planet we really haven't done the right research for dominating it it's okay i'll get it knocked out this week Honestly, I really do think those should be worth more. Oh, that was a strikingly deadly shot. Just like... Psh. Wish they were all landing like that. I'd be looking studly. It's all like comparative, right? Oh, look at this. Did we just get some Caldon? Yeah, come on. Boom. 160-something. That's cool. 
I actually like that as a texture. And so it's a good one to run on other planets, the cold elm uh, blueprint. I really do like these little guys. Cambibos are a nice little mob for when you're new. Is this a... Oh no, that's a provider. This is a pretty big provider. I thought we had already found another... Like, uh... Brood mother right there. Nope. Just a big dude. Oh, wow. Um, slowly making our way up this hill. Boom. I'll bet on the next pass we find one. I shouldn't probably say that. I don't know if I bet that, but I feel that this has been pretty often. And it couldn't have been like, what, three passes between them? I thought it was about two. Not a million percent sure, but. I was worried it's going to be like one of those mobs where it's like once every 45 minutes or. Um. The one that I like to hunt that's a good mob, but you have to be, like, filling it, filling it. And uh, last time I tried to get a video, I totally messed up the video. It's still up, but it's a crap video. Is uh, the swamp. The Lahore Swamp. There's a ridiculously cool mob up in there. I can't remember what his name is, but I really do like him. But you have to take out a just ridiculous ridiculous amount of uh, mutants if you're doing it by yourself especially to trigger him and so but for fun it is actually pretty fun and so takes a second though for sure Look how thick this is. See that hairspray? I really do think that should be more. I'm going to need to find somebody to cut this guy's hair too. The little ponytail thing. For some reason when I designed him, I, I thought he needed a ponytail. I don't know. Now I don't feel like I do want one on there. Okay, so now we're going to work our way around. See if we can get us a uh, fruit mother that wants to actually be nice to us today. Just came out of nowhere on me.
These guys are thick up in here. Okay. Obviously, there's not a brood mother down in there. Well, I don't know if that's obvious. I actually don't know that for sure. I do want to check out those those booths, but honestly, I think that nobody knows about this place anymore. Hardly. Because at one point, there'd be a bunch of people up in here shooting the crap out of these Cambibos, because these are the higher maturity Cambibos, so it's easier to codex. Uh, this is the fewest people I've ever seen here. In fact, I haven't been on Calypso for a while, except for dropping off stuff in the auction house and stuff. But this, for sure, is... People are in different places than they used to be. Like, I'm not really sure where everybody is. Not in the same places, though. Okay, we're 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 gonna continue to hunt that. So I don't know if you guys know about these portable repair units, portable trade units. They're extraordinarily handy. Um, they allow you not to have to go back. Why could I not execute? Probably because something's attacking me, huh? Okay. Or is it too damaged? Oh, it's too damaged to execute. I'm going to have to actually go to a trade terminal. Hold on one second. If we have to go to a real trade terminal, I'll teleport real quick. I won't make it take us long. I don't know what's inside this chateau. I would think that there's a trade terminal in there, right? Who owns this place? This has got to be a good investment. We've got three booths. What, four booths? I don't know this guy. Okay, we're going to see if he has trade terminals inside here. This is a pretty fancy place. I would be shocked if it doesn't. You got over here, bud. Is this a store? Did they give him trade terminals? Did they need to give this guy trade terminals? I like this store. What's up with this? I'm gonna tell you, I've never been in this little house before. I'm gonna take it that they didn't hook it. This is a big estate. No. Okay. Weird. What is Grim in? That's actually not bad, you guys. Okay. It is apparent that this is very pretty, very nice. But it doesn't seem to have trade terminal access inside of there. What is this? Shopkeepers? So my theory on it is that shopkeepers, you only should ever have specific stuff in them because they're so freaking expensive if you think about it. Each use on a shopkeeper is, is pretty costly. I mean, I'm going to teleport myself right over there and uh, we're going to fix our stuff, shoot back, kill more stuff. But uh, a shopkeeper's like... I don't know. A ridiculous amount of money. And they don't drop very often. Like, you can hunt like crap in a lot. The things that actually drop them, and it's still holy crap. We're ignoring that thing real quick.
I don't know why I'm going to run somewhere. I'm shooting right back there. By the way, these are really super handy. Okay. I'm sure she's back by now. Okay, so now we're just trying to track down the broodmother and kill her. Let me go look off the sedge real quick. There she is. Look at that. Tracked her down quick. I feel we're killing her about every 10 minutes here. Now that we're looking for her more often. She's so big. Oh, we're killing this one way easier than the last one. And they were not nice to us on the last one, so like, cross fingers. Okay, well that's better. That's at least a lot of shrapnel. It's not what we call nice, though. So... I wonder if it's random the location too, or just the time. Like, is the next one gonna be over there, or could it be any place? I mean, that was so grayscale looking. I thought I lost connection. You know how it does that grayscale? And I guess my armor wasn't grayscale. Such a good mob. See that other area, there's none of these seventh level Kambibos and there's none of the, the brood mother stuff. And so But it's where I hunted the crap out of them for a long time. Pre codex. And uh so it is a good hunting spot. This is just better if you can actually get to it and stuff. And I really am shocked that there's not more people here. Like legit, this used to be the, like if you were trying to rip through this, like the iron missions, because it used to be iron missions, I don't didn't do enough of those. I actually didn't capitalize on them to the level that I should have. I really regret that. Because those were an excellent way to get powerful. Codex, though, is pimp. The codex thing is, like, ridiculously... Probably one of the best things they changed.
He's gonna come at me this time. This little island's cool as crap, actually. I feel that uh, the guy that owns it should be promoting it a little bit better and uh, probably doing events here, honestly. Plus, I didn't understand his estate. I'm gonna have to go check it out. I didn't look at his point structure. Um, I just didn't look at his point structure. And I would probably have different things in my shop. Like, maybe some plates and some guns. Because I, I like guns. You know, plates. Plates are good. They allow you to hunt a, a lot more stuff. Guys, we're going to go with perception pretty much always. Pretty much always. I mean, not guaranteed always, but. Oh, these guys are way too high up in the air. I'm not even trying to chase people across the map when they're flying up like that. I feel these kind of people really would be like a tree area type creature. Like hide in bushes and ambush people or something. Dang, this guy's taking a second to take down. fish okay I'm not sure what's gold up here oh thank you somehow that scared the crap out of me was not prepared thank you very much Clems or Kim yeah champs I suck at names so bad we're working on it oh I didn't mean to have a serious face I was uh Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Some of these, these uh, camp people have not been kind to me. And I was waiting for my energy drink to kick in, honestly. It was a long, long day. And so I was like, I need energy drink now. And, uh, yeah. I probably did look serious. Hope you guys are all having a good day, though, anyway. We're going to find this brood queen. Pretty sure it's to the north. Oh, no, it's to the south. I really like this place. Don't you feel that this is like an island that you would own and do, like, special events of some kind? I do. I feel that this is a good little something island i mean like i think i would do different like things with that chateau technically but uh like there's a whole bunch of booths in front of it right it costs like frick, how much like eight thousand dollars how much does it cost for a uh 
a teleporter. It's a really a lot of money, right? I I've looked before. I just don't remember. Because I don't own a piece of land, so it's just kind of like, you know, I don't know. When people used to be kids and they used to shop in the Sears catalog, and you're like, hey, one day I'm going to pretend that I'm going to have $40,000 to drop into a video game so that I can buy a bunch of stuff. Oh, boom, we got another broodmother right here. Okay, cross fingers, because these guys have not been really nice. And in all honesty, I've... Like, I've seen some of these, for other people, list some massive hits. So I know it's possible that they just can do that for you. You know what I mean? But I don't know how often that is. Probably not very often either. I mean, none, nothing seems to HOF a ton, you know. But sometimes you'll see, like, in this little, whatever they call that, the global announcement thing. Somebody will hit on this brood mother for a ridiculous amount. See, that's not a ridiculous amount, but it's going to keep us shooting at them. And I've never really checked to see if the brood mother counts towards the uh, codex. I'm sure she does. She's like the biggest one of them. It would be weird if they didn't let her count. So it's about 10 minutes between the next one, right? Because that's what we have about down to. Ish. If we're actively hunting for them. I was thinking pretty serious in my own head, to be honest, too. And so. That, that does happen. So, I'm officially over my, uh hour count on uh, YouTube to click my monetization but once you click monetization if they deny you and I don't think I would be denied you don't get a reapply for six months and I'm gonna click my button today just I was I'm not ready yet because honestly I'm not like ready for the emotional uh what is that called let down if they like say hey no for the next little bit because you actually have to pump out a lot of stuff to hit that four thousand hours that they require it's not like well i have to because i don't have something that just immediately went super mega viral and carries four thousand watch hours you know what i mean and so I was sitting there thinking about that in my head kind of a little bit too. We're just going to hope that they say, hey, yes. In which then, that money, along with some general content stuff that, that, that actually does get most of my hours, is going to be used to boost the crap out of uh, my channel, basically. And hopefully my guy a little. And it'll be a very small amount of money, but it is money that will just residually come in. Which is good. So that's that's basically what was in my head at that point. And if they say no, it's not the end of the world. You know, we'll just figure it out from there and be like, hey. In fact. Yeah, insane, huh? I wish it wasn't like a six month if it, if they say no thing is the thing. But I have no controversial type stuff, so we should be good. In fact, we might just click it up live at the end of this this thing, to be honest. But then from there, it's out of my hands, and I hate that part. Yeah, I think everybody hates that that feeling of hey, I'm not in charge anymore, I'm in control of the situation. Oh, 
boom. Look at that. So that's our second little global. And I don't care if they're little globals or not. Globals kick butt, period. We got to get this guy to hit us and kill his friend first. That's so exciting. Thank you very much. Yeah, I love globals. I'm going to just be honest. I know everybody does. They're like literally... Even the sound that they picked is actually just... What is that? That Pavlov effect is what they call that, right? I think it is. It's okay. Thank you very much, by the way. Yeah, I like that they do that. It is a little like... Psh, especially when you're having a rough one. Where you're like, hey... Thank you very much. Trying to kind of watch the, the clock so we know how long it takes. To, I mean, I kind of know how long it takes at this point for them to repop. But I'm trying to watch so we know to go hunt for another one. I think it's about five minutes before another one will appear. But since it's so random... Who knows exactly, but these do seem like absolutely epic little guys to hunt. I don't think it would take too long to work through this as a codex. This is such a neat little island though. Do you guys agree that it's kind of shocking there's not more people hunting the Camp Bebo here? This used to be like a consistent area where there would be... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a guardian. I thought we already had a... There used to be about three or four people that would be out here plinking away sometimes. And so I'm kind of shocked that... Uh, Maybe most of the players have moved past these guys, honestly. That could be. But these are a good little mob to farm. For fun. What, what do you mean? Oh. You know what? Did they tell me anything like that? Can I tell? somehow does it have a fee on it I don't know how can I find that out I didn't look at the, the message when I came in here you guys is there a way to find out the fee stuff outside of the message I'll bet there is a fee or something it is a good question because it makes sense to why why there would be a ton of people hunting here if there's a fee Like, exit and enter, just fly away, or just teleport away? We'll teleport away. Hold on. We'll find out right here. Okay. I, I can teleport a pretty good distance. And we have a good amount of teleportation left. I stocked up before I went off. Uh, is this PvP? No, let's not go there. Are we out of the area? What oh, the crap is here? Argonauts? Oh, that's a serious argument, guys. I'm gonna have to kill him. I would have used my gun, but the second it's anything serious, we, we default back to the fact that this guy's a pyrokineticist. And if we get rushed too heavy, we'll 
we'll zap out of here. Or switch to my other army, I mean armor, but... I think we got these guys. Crap. Okay, hold on. Just need enough life to kill him. And I don't want to really waste my good armor on, on an Argonaut. You know what I mean? The plight that everybody has. Okay. Just needed to leave the blue zone. So you think we're out of it? I think we are too. Okay, right back in there. Okay, we did get a hunting tax message. No. I don't think that there is. Let me switch armors though, because we definitely need, don't need Perseus armor for... Uh, This one. Yeah, no, I don't think that there is one. So I think that this is... Check radar. I don't think that there's attacks, maybe. You know what? I could Google it. Oh, uh, Google probably isn't gonna know. Would would the skull say if there's attacks? Well, I hope there's not attacks. Honestly, it, it didn't look like there was, because usually you get that message. Oh, see, somebody else is here hunting. I thought it was weird that there was nobody here. You know what I mean? That that that's way more normal. I was like, ah, this place I've never been and not had anybody here. So Well good to know. You know that little nymph village too? It's actually interesting, and I've never went anywhere from there except here. I've never explored the region around here. And so there could be all kinds of stuff that I don't know about, actually. Oh, there she is. Ooh, I did not heal up first. We're gonna heal up during fight. I know that's a horrible idea normally. I'm hoping I can out heal her punches for a second. I'm pretty sure I can. I would get a permanent 11 chip, but they're freaking expensive. I could probably use a 12 by now, but. Like. All the permanent hill chips are so freaking costly and they don't just appear in there all the time either. Like, yeah, I don't even know how long I'm going to have to wait. It'll be a while. But being able to heal yourself like that is absolutely handy. This guy's trying to jack me up here. Okay.
Okay, so it should take about 10 minutes for one more brood uh, dude to appear. And we're going to hope that one will uh, hook us up with some kind of epic global. It doesn't have to be epic, actually. It could just be a global of any kind. Or just actually... Oh, boom. I was wondering where our stuff went. Boom. So we're doing okay. I would say. Or we wouldn't have had so much uh, shrapnel. This brood mother's... Honestly, if you can get a group together, even if you're young, like low level players, to take her down, if she does do good for you, she'll do super good. I mean, we I haven't had good luck on this run with her, but uh, I do know for a fact that she likes to do well because I've seen the the hits well enough time with that little thing up there. Plus, I've done well on her before, just not epic, epic. I wonder how many Cambibo skins I'd have to have to... Do a good run of Cambibo hide stuff. I have the Cambibo texture blueprint. I just never have had enough Cambibo hides on me to just decide to run a run. But honestly, while we're doing this whole codex on these guys, we might actually get enough to be like, hey, let me bust out some Cambibo random item. guys are just so I needed a bunch of muscle oil to do some crafting runs though too I'm attempting to get some of those uh well, I'm not gonna attempt I'm gonna knock out a bunch of those runs on uh, the gizmos and stuff the weapon gizmo probably some other things too I'm just haven't decided what yet I think that's a brood queen. Oh, look at that. Brood mother, right there. Let's get her. Okay. Here she is. Okay, so after this guy, we're going to hit our official monetization button. We'll find out how that happens over the next little bit. I'm going to kill this one too, because he's right here. I'm going to be hunting more of these, because we're going to codex uh, all the way through these guys. I think it is time for a HOF, but I don't think that they're going to give me one today. I'm going to codex these guys some more, though. I'm going to switch this so we can see display real quick. Honestly, it's more or less. Uh, let me get rid of this. Boom. You guys that have helped me uh, get to this point, obviously. Boom. And so uh, right here. Boom. 
I guess we'll be waiting. We'll find out. Maybe they're like nice to us. Maybe they're boom. And uh, we're going to just, uh, I guess we go down here and we accept the terms, right? Boom. And that's it. We're, I'll finish up the rest of the paperwork not on stream because it'll be awkward if I'm just filling out paperwork on stream, right? But in theory, maybe we have stuff to, to support the channel as a whole thing. Um, honestly, I don't think I could have done it without you guys' support from uh, everybody at Entropy and stuff. And so I'm super excited about it. Um, it's not just Entropia, but Entropia, Fallout, Dungeons and Dragons Online, and stuff like that. But Entropia has been a huge amount of my watch hours, my support, and so I do thank you guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, find somebody that's also um, playing Entropia before I hop off, because uh, I would rather you know, pass everybody that is watching Entropia to Entropia people. I do hope you guys have a great day. Um, peace and very best wishes. And thanks for hanging out, actually.